Hey Energy fans, I'm Brent Skarkey with your Mass Mutual Oklahoma post game report. Your Oklahoma City Energy north of the border in Vancouver to take on the Whitecaps 2 in the Western Conference semifinals of the USL. Oklahoma City, of course, coming off that cardio comeback against Rio Grande Valley, taking on a Whitecaps team that also had a come from behind victory against Colorado. 50 degrees and rain at Thunderbird Stadium at kickoff on the campus of University of British Columbia. The Dallas guys in the lineup for Oklahoma City, both Timo Pitter and the hero of the RGV game, Colin Bonner, in the lineup. Cody Lorindi in goal for Oklahoma City, turning down the offer to play with the Puerto Rican national team. Sebastian Dalgard back on the active roster for Oklahoma City. He would come up big later. Michael Thomas told me right after the RGV game that the Oklahoma City energy needed to capitalize on the momentum they had there and carry it into the next game, something they didn't do a year ago from the Colorado Springs miracle win into the conference finals against the LA Galaxy. Speaking of MT, his good friend Kyle Gregg in the lineup for Vancouver. But in the 23rd minute, the captain, MT, says to Kyle, you're not my pal, buddy. Buddy, you're not my guy. The yellow card, KG would be fine, though. Very slow first half of the first half for both teams until the 27th minute on the free kick. Keon's freeze makes it one nothing Vancouver. Right before the half, Oklahoma City starts to find its rhythm. Off the ride and service, MT the shot blocked by Spencer Ritchie. one nothing Vancouver Whitecaps, two at the half. Second half, right after the break, Vancouver adds to its lead. Caden Chung to Kyle Gregg, the former Oklahoma City striker, makes it 2 nothing Vancouver. Oklahoma City, those offense would click. 59th minute, Sebastian to Bonner. The header no good, the kick no good. But in the 60th minute, off the corner kick, Bonner the header over to Koenig. He finishes off the back post. 2-1 Vancouver, Oklahoma City clawing back. Then the 80th minute, off the corner again. Timo Pitter dials up the long distance top shelf, ties the game at two. But the 89th minute, Daniel Haber, the footwork in front, beats MT and Cody, 3-2. Vancouver takes the lead, and that would do it. Oklahoma City falls to Vancouver in the Western Conference semifinals. It's that way to, to end the season. Uh, thought we did okay job, but made some, some horrible uh, mistakes and, and gave up some extremely soft goals. And uh, To be fair, you, you can't expect winning games when you're giving up soft goals like this. That's uh, obviously very, very disappointing. You know, Didn't defend well. Uh, going forward, a little shaky as well. Uh, we put ourselves in, in, in a deep hole again, and we found a way to come back, but we're not, uh, we're not sharp enough to, to close it. You know, we dug ourselves a hole again, uh, down 2-0. We showed an incredible fight like we always do and always have all year. Uh, just tied up 2-2, and unfortunately, I snuck one in right at the end. Um, you know, soccer's not a, not a fair game at times. I'm sure they're sitting there thinking that they played a uh, Played better than us, but I think we uh, we had the better of the second half, and it was it was it was our game. But it is what it is. Congrats to them. Uh, still proud of the guys. Really proud of the guys. It's been a been a roller coaster of a year, but it's been a good year. OKC finishes their season 11, 8, and 13. All in all, a successful campaign. But just gotta admit that this was probably not a the season. You know, it's 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 a sad way to to end, and including myself I had a. I had a feeling about some more, but uh, this is the end. We're a very proud group. Um, unfortunately, things uh, just didn't go our way this year with all the ties. Um, but even in the ties, you, you never saw us give up. Um, in the playoffs, you never saw us give up. And hopefully that's something that we can carry on to in the future. Hope a lot of, a lot of the guys are coming back and uh, we can make a deeper run and, and bring a championship to Oklahoma City because uh, the city definitely deserves it and the organization deserves it. So the energy season does come to an end in the Western Conference semifinals with this loss in Vancouver. Oklahoma City goes back home with Coach Nielsen and his crew. Lots to build on, and of course, a lot of familiar faces will be back for Oklahoma City next year. We'll get you up to speed on all the offseason and happenings as we roll along. I know the coaches appreciate your support all season long, so do the players, and I certainly do with Energy FC TV. We'll keep you up to speed with everything about your guys in green as we roll into next season. For Energy FC TV, I'm Brent Skarkey. This has been your Mass Mutual Oklahoma postseason postgame report.